There have like a mix, corn, carrots, peas, long beans. Green beans, Green beans honey. I know, but something's happening to my like memory. video is sponsored by Catchmaster. Hello everyone and welcome to my crazy house. My name is Marlene McCohen. I have a house with um, 12 birds. And today I'm gonna show you our morning routine, right baby? Yes, we're very excited about it. They're all gonna get breakfast now. It's gonna be, okay. Why don't you, instead of saying dirty words about George, why don't you promote your new lyric video? All right, guys, so let me wake... Why are you awake, actually? Okay, I'm gonna wake up the... Is Vinny, are they all awake? Yeah, they taking forever. I wanted to do a waking up my birds routine yeah. video. Welcome uh, to your uh, morning... Uh... Afternoon. It's not afternoon, George, but I had to get dressed and ready and I have stuff to do. I mean, I'm glad you woke him up, but... I already made food. I already did everything. Like he... But did you make the birds food? Yeah. Okay, what did you make for the birds? I took some frozen vegetables and boiled them. And then some cauliflower rice. I added a little bit of pepper to it and kind of gave them a little bit of a spice and that's it. And some of the... Where is that stuff? What is it called? <laughs> It's good, I like it. It's Nelly Spice, George. So yeah, for the vegetables I added it. It's for humans and birds. This is called Feather Shakers by Posh City Pets. It's good, it's good. And yeah, we made Nelly's Amore Spice together. It's an Italian herb blend, so. Listen, smell it, it's good. I know. Okay, so ingredients. Organic oregano, organic basil, organic thyme or thyme? Thyme, uh. whatever, I don't cook. All right, so. For our morning routine, George is always in charge of the breakfast. If there's the lunch, the dinner, the next day's breakfast, and so on, right? Yes, yeah. that is true. And if he wasn't, he wouldn't have won me over. So basically, the birds all the lesson know. of today is that if you want to have a person like Marlene, you need to learn how to cook. Is that a lesson for the guys? Maybe. They might not want a person like me. I don't want a person like me. You might end up on YouTube. You might. You know what? Th this is not even discussion. Anyway, <laughs> we're trying to do morning routine. I hate the word routine because yeah, there the is absolutely no routine. There's only an idea of what we do that we try to execute every day, and they change it up however they want. So this is Rocky. He's all excited about his breakfast. I wish sometimes I. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, these are the bowls. <laughs> I'm like, don't know. She decided to come join us. We've been uh, doing this all morning. Thank you. The host has arrived. <laughs> there is a strategy to what we do, but maybe no routine. The routine is that we try the same thing every day. What I have here, which I think is really cool, is these bowls. They come in a set. They're not on ParisStation.com, but if you'd like them to be, we can look into that. I really like these bowls. If you go into the store and you see these versus these, these actually don't fit on all kinds of bars. The bars have to be out. These fit on every kind of bar and they're kind of bendable. Why it's important to have food bowls like this, you cannot put this on top of the pellets or seed mix or however you feed your bird because it can get soiled. You wanna always have something that you know you can clean out and remove for the bowls. They have like a mix, corn, carrots, peas, long beans. Green beans, Green beans honey. I know, but something's happening to my like memory and it's mm. not so good. <laughs> We're gonna put this. Oh, um, you're excited. They can eat them out here. They Look can at eat her. Them in She's their excited. Cages. It just her. depends on where they are. Look at how excited we're in. The reason we put them in these bowls is because sometimes they're outside in the aviary, and so it's really good for them to get their snacks here, this baby. way. I have a 
set of these, a lot of them are missing, and they are just little plastic plates that I use for the birds to include themselves when we eat and get them used to eating off of their own plate. As you can see, Merlin is here eating. Leo loves food, but he's not eating, he wants to come to me. So do I just say Leo doesn't want to eat, or do I try to find out why? So if I was gonna find out why, I'd say one, he's not comfortable eating here with Merlin. So I gotta move him to another spot, and two, he might not like these yellow bowls. Sometimes birds are comfortable with them in one situation, like they might like it in their cage, but not out here, because generally he uses a lot. See, he still wants to come to me, he still doesn't feel safe. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna get a flat bowl out, and I'm gonna dump some of it in here and see if that changes anything. Okay, so now he doesn't wanna eat this here. Let's try moving this over here. I also like these because they can sit on top of these very well. If he's more comfortable here, he might eat there. There you go. Evidence that you gotta try many different ways to do the same thing. It was Merlin, it was the bull, it was a spot. A lot of birds won't feel very comfortable when they eat. So don't take it for face value. Don't say, oh, he doesn't wanna eat, he, he's not hungry. Involves just hanging out with them, obviously. Actually, it's the best thing to be like this because like in the end of the day, you can't forget to have just moments like this with them. And when I sit here like this, a lot of them eventually just come over. You have to think of things backwards too. So for example, if I sit here like this and a lot of them come over, it means they like this time, right? So if they sit here, then you have to realize they want you to come over. Get it? So Vinny sits here and now he's like, oh. He will actually fly here at night and be like, okay, what movie you said, right? Yeah. And if I stay here long enough, Randa and Blue will fly over. Sometimes Leo will walk over. A good amount of time, Jersey will walk over. She'll usually be kind of like the next one. Merlin will walk over. Cody will fly over. None of that's happening right now. So, are you guys enjoying your meal that daddy made for you? What are you doing? Breaking the walls. Why? <laughs> because I can't stand these things. They're all over the place. Those traps don't work. Yes, they do, George. No, they don't. I put them everywhere. They're like not working. Where did you put them? Everywhere. George, first of all, no. No. I get it. You can't do that. You can't put them everywhere and they negate each other. Okay, what are you, the expert or something? Yes. Cashmaster is the best and it's the best brand. And you are not the Cashmaster. You just don't know how to use it. I am the Cashmaster. I just, I do it my way. There's a mom! George, get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it. Put this. <laughs> yeah, get this They're coming out now because that's sending out the pheromones. Yes. Oh my god. Put this over That's here. why it's chasing me. Did you touch it? You cannot also put that in a place that you think the bird's feasibly gonna go. And you can't just put it in open air, like two of them. In a nutshell, it's called a monitor. So what it is- This is a monitor? This is a monitor. They're used to kind of monitor and tell you where the nest is. Does that make sense? Because there's a pheromone in it that attracts the moth, right? But if you put like five of them all around the place, then they don't know where to go and they don't. So then, I can't have. More but then than... also, you can't target where they're coming from. And usually they're nesting in a pantry because they're pantry moths. They come to people with birds because of the bird seeds, right? Right. Even, it doesn't even matter if you have pellets, if you have seeds. The walnuts. Nuts, it can come from anything. It can come from cereals, it doesn't matter. It's not just bird, but bird people have this problem. When you put it in all different pantries, the pheromones, they're not in open air. So you see which monitor caught a moth, get it? Oh, so you're supposed to put multiple ones in the, in the pantry? One in each pantry, right? So like what happens is if you put it in here, here and here, and then if you catch them off in here, then the nest is in here. If you put it out in the open and you catch the moth, you catch the moth, but that doesn't directly monitor where the nest is. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, there's another one. Yes, it's coming out for the catch faster. 
But that's not the right place. No, to. you can't put it there because. But I'm gonna get that guy. Oh wow! Look, they're all coming. Are you serious? There's another one. That is the strongest pheromone ever. I did ever. not know that that's so quick. No, because I'm telling you, like, remember when I went to Birds Plus and Lou was like, "There's one good brand that will literally, like, you'll catch the moths." And then there was, and he gave it to us, and it was really good. That was the catch master. Yeah, it's literally bringing them all out. They're coming closer. Let's <laughs> bet that. This doesn't work and mine works better. What's yours? What's yours? I'm the catch master. <laughs> <laughs> you think basically that you can kill all of the moths and you're not gonna come back. Yes. That doesn't even make sense. You know about the nest. You're the one that finds the nests. You're asking me if I'm the expert. Let me tell you what I know and what I've learned, okay? So moths can get through this cellophane. They can get through no matter how thick you think it is, they put these tiny little holes, they go through here, and one of the main ways to know if a moth has been through your grains or pastas is when this kind of like dust is at the bottom. So if you look at the bag, you can often, you may not see a hole, but. You cannot see no holes here. What's this? Oh. There we go. Yeah, you see, get, get rid of that. Oh, that's really Yeah. Oh, they're gonna attack me, do something! <laughs> They can't be together on me because they get really possessive over me and then they fight. They can be, and so he wouldn't be able to pick, no one would be able to pick them up with their finger because they will bite. Look how mad he is. Okay. So, so what do you want to do? Do you want to bet that you're the catch master? Or do you want to bet that the catch master is the catch master? I think I'm the catch master because I do a better job. You want to make a bet? Sure. This is okay, bet. we put them in all of the cupboards. Put one in, take all those, put them in all of the cupboards. Because it doesn't matter to you if they're gone because you're the catch master. Okay. Put them in each cupboard. If we find a moth in it within a cupboard and we find a nest, then you have to do all the cleaning of all the cupboards. All and the cleaning? The cleaning, yeah. You're not gonna help me? I mean, I'll, I'll take How's the bet. bet. Well, it doesn't mean that I gotta do it all by myself. That's the bet. Otherwise, I do it all myself if you're if you're the catch master. Really? Yeah. Okay, I'll take that bet then. We have one in here. And also, guys, for those of you who have birds, this is preventative. You want to have this in spots where your seeds, your grains, a lot of people forget about this. They don't know they have moths because they have parrots and parrot seeds around, but it's not just that. It's also, of course, your pastas and nuts. So we, I think we got moths from bringing home some walnuts from a store once. So it's better to be preventative and have these things ready, at least purchased already, if that makes sense. And as you guys already know, you can get them on Amazon. Put those in the rest of the cupboards, George. Especially the cupboards with brains. I love you guys. If you guys want your own moth traps to be prepared, because it is moth season, click the link below. It's an Amazon link, real easy to purchase. It's part of like what I would consider a pack that you should always have on hand for your birds. So yeah, enjoy. I hope you liked this morning routine video. It's still a day. Her morning is really her afternoon. No, it's not. I was up doing stuff and- What were you doing? What do you mean was I doing? Working and chasing you around. Not in the morning. We were sleeping in the morning. I had to put makeup on, George. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know your favorite part of this video. Bye.